God does reveal himself to us through his creation. Fiddlefaddle, no God created this world. Only a fool would believe in God, but we do see evidence of a creator in this world. According to Psalm 19, nature reveals that God exists, God is glorious, and God's existence is known to all people. And Romans 1 says that God does indeed reveal himself to us through his creation. We have a natural knowledge of him. Paul writes, For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So Paul says we, we are without excuse if we say that we know nothing about God or that God does not exist. My dear boy, all of those things can be explained by evolution and natural selection, not by intelligent design. One would expect to find order to exist in the universe, but it simply mimics design because organisms become more and more complex over long periods of time. You're talking about Darwin's theory of evolution, but evolution is not scientific fact, you know. It was Darwin's attempt to provide a better explanation to the complexity of nature through his origin of species. Brilliant. I mean, he made observations about how organisms changed and adapted, but it still doesn't explain where life came from. It just goes backwards into endless causes and effects. Well, who designed God then? If the universe needs a cause, then God needs a cause. If there is no eternal creator God, what are the options? That the universe caused itself? Like the Big Bang, oh yes, magnificent! That's illogical. If this world of matter is all there is, where did it come from? Even if we could pinpoint the origin of the matter, we still have another problem. See, nature is not self-generating, and things don't move from a state of disorder to order. In fact, just the opposite happens. In nature, we observe that, that things that have order become disordered over time. The existence of order suggests a designer, so the most logical conclusion is that the universe is caused by God or some other deity. And it actually makes sense that nothing could bring God into existence, otherwise he wouldn't be God. Oh, well. By looking at nature, we could assume that polytheism is true, or, or any other creation myth from any other world religion. <laughs> tisk tisk. It's true, there are limits to arguments from design, and Christians admit this. God reveals himself through nature, that's true, but this revelation is limited. Even if natural revelation doesn't prove Christianity to be true, it does show the incoherence of naturalism, which is a belief that nature exists without God. So the observable universe is well-ordered. Therefore, it was designed by a well-ordered creator. If we want to know more about God, then we would need something more from him, a special revelation where he reveals more about himself to us. Things like, you know, who that creator is, or what he is like, or what's, what's his law for us, or, or how do we have a relationship with him. These are things that would ultimately be revealed to us through his word, which, for Christians is ultimately Christ. Oh, well, I've got some questions, all right. I'm sure you do, and we'll cover those in some future videos. But for now, let's keep it at this. If Jesus was not who he said he was, the Son of God in the flesh, then we would have no basis for believing anything that the Bible or the Christian faith teaches. I, for one, am intrigued.